Joining me to talk more about the Forum and Asian Economic Growth, Senior Fellow Liu Jixian from Renmin University in China in Beijing. Welcome. Uh, the Boao Forum Secretary General said Hello. the Belt and Road Initiative is China's version of globalization. I wanted to get your thoughts. What do you make of that? I think that China's proposal now to the whole world, the one belt and the one road, is one of the important policies that uh, to support the uh, globalization. As we know, the Boa Forum is, is focusing on the free trade uh, negotiation and also the globalization. We want to push and further develop the uh, globalization at the moment. So in this way, the one belt and one road is one of the important supplementary measures to the whole world that they can find another way out or another opportunity that uh, to uh, uh, step up or to uh, upgrade their industry and the economy. In this way, China's uh, Belt and the Road I Initiative that can not only provide uh, budgets, uh, capitals, and also we can provide the uh, technologies and also the Chinese philosophy, for instance, the inclusiveness, the openness of the market and the cooperation, and especially in the innovation ideas that in this way that uh, we can put this one build and one road more dynamic in the whole world. And uh, at the moment, we know that some pendants in America, in some uh, developed countries, they are very uh, suspicious about the globalization. Actually, they have misunderstanding in the past, I think. They always say that uh, uh, Western nation didn't have uh, enough benefits from the globalization. It's not the fact, it's not the true. So in this way, the China's Belt and the Road Initiative can also help the developed nations that, uh, to coordinate with the emerging market. In this way, that we can use the budget from the uh, developed countries and from European countries, even including America. So in this way, that we can find many uh, 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 opportunities to create new jobs and uh, new industries. As we know yesterday that uh, AIIB has uh, 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 adopted a new uh, membership that uh, 13 new countries are coming to the, as a member of the bank. So in this way that we have already 70 uh, members in the bank. All these measures taken by China just to provide more opportunities and the channels to the whole world to strengthen together to develop the economy in the same way. So we hope that uh, this can be succeed also in the whole world, or including the America, can benefit from the One Belt and One Road initiative. Yeah, the AIIB has really uh, has done very well. Um, talk to me about the Asian uh, emerging economies and, and growth there. You know, the, the uh, Asian market is very dynamic and uh, flexible. Of course, in the past 30 uh, uh, years, that uh, Asian market has contributed a great uh, uh, to the whole world economy. As we know that uh, emerging market, the growth rate, uh, at the average rate is 4.4%. Uh, but compared to the developed countries, that are only 1.3%. That's uh, far lower than the emerging market. And also, the emerging market has also contributed 16% of the whole world economy. So in this, especially from this 16%, uh, I think that most of them are coming from the Asian countries. Because the Asian countries, they have closely uh, on mis uh, understanding to each other. This, we can benefit from each other's advantages. In this way, this is a good chance for the uh, Western nations that to close collaborate, close coordinate with the Asian countries, especially go to East, go to Asia, is one of the best way for Western countries now to further develop their economy. So the Asian market is uh, ready and welcome all these investors from outside, especially from the developed countries. We're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for your insights.